What brings you to my office, Mrs. Morgan? I am in bad financial shape, Pastor. I am living on a fixed income. My medical bills took a lot of my savings. I am about to lose my house because I have fallen three months behind in my mortgage payments. Well, can't your family help you financially to keep your house? No, they are broke too. Besides, I don't want to be a burden to them. Have you tried to get a loan from the bank or finance company? Yes, but they all turned me down. I was hoping that the church could help save my house. I pay my tithes and offerings here every week. The church can't save your house but God can. All you have to do is sow a supernatural seed to receive a supernatural miracle. How much money do you have left in your savings, Sister Morgan? $700. Give me the $700. That will be your supernatural seed. We will pray over it. God will need that money for our church. Once you do that, in 48 hours your house will be saved because you are sowing in good ground. I am going to write you out a check right now. Now that God has your money, your prayer has been answered. God bless you, Pastor. Chandra, what are you doing here? I am happy to see you, baby. I came here because we have something important to discuss. Tell me what's on your mind. Well, I went to the doctor today. I am pregnant. So why are you telling me this? Because you are the father. You should know that I'm having your baby. How do you know that I'm the father of that baby that you are carrying? You are probably screwing a bunch of men behind my back. You are the only man that I've been sleeping with. Just in case this is my baby, I want you to get an abortion. Here is $600. Get it taken care of quickly. I don't want $600. I want $500,000. If you don't give it to me, I will tell your wife and the entire congregation that you got me pregnant and that you wanted me to have an abortion. Bitch, I'm not giving you $500,000. If you tell my wife or the congregation about this, I will kill you. Now, get the hell out of my office. This isn't over, Robert. You will give me the money. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh man, your whip is lit. When did you get it? I bought it two days ago. Man, I can't wait to get my new ride. It's gonna be fire. All the broads will want me then. You were right about that. Did you bring the money? Yeah, I got it in this duffel bag. Did we make a lot of sales from the dope heads? Yeah my dude, but Viper's cut was light again. He said that not a lot of people were buying his crack. He is a damn liar. That's the second time that his ends have come up short. It's time to make an example out of him. Gee dog, I want you to put a bullet in his head. Before you do it tell him that the bullet is from me because he stole my money. No doubt, word is bond, he is a dead man. I will take care of his ass tonight. Leave no witnesses or evidence. I got you boss. What is the name of the deceased? His name is Roderick Gallant. His street name is Viper. He is a known drug dealer. He went to prison twice, each time for drug possession. He was shot execution style. I bet you his death was drug related. I need the names of the people he hung out with. I need his cell phone records to find out who he had last spoke to. Detective Pratt, I found a 22 shell casing near Viper's body. Good, I need to send it to ballistics. Viper's killer left bloody shoe prints. I need you to take pictures of the prints and I will make molds from them. After we collect all of the evidence, I will notify his family about his death. I'm on it, sir. The job that you wanted me to do has been handled. Good, now I want you to control Viper's territory. That means more money for you and my empire will grow even more. Thanks man, I won't let you down. I know you won't, now let's celebrate. The drinks are on me.